What's going on guys? So, it's a little cold out here today, but a little cold never hurts anything. I will be testing out the Ultimate Survival Technologies uh, Hexamine Stove. I've had quite, quite a few of these. They work pretty good. I already got a tab in there. I'm just going to use a Uco match. Let that get started. And boil up a canteen cup of water and make coffee hot chocolate. Let's see. There we go, that's a little better. I've got several videos planned down the down the line. Lots of different fire starters that I've been making. Lots of experiments. I found, uh, or I should say I made a new version of my fire disc. I won't go into it now, but I will explain in a further video. But I think you guys will like that video a lot. I'm going to have to make some more of these. Sorry about all the traffic. It's Veterans Day, but everyone wants to seem to be out right now. I have the uh, canteen cup nesting stove from selfrelianceoutfitters.com, Dave Canterbury's website. I have two of those. I like them a lot, um, but with my testing with hexamine tabs, given the uh, length in between the stove and the fuel tab, I really find that it doesn't give maximum burn time. So I'm sitting there maybe a cup, a cup and a half of water, and it's still not boiled with one fuel tablet. And that right there's a problem for me. I love these little folding stoves. I say they're invaluable. About $7 on Amazon right now. You get the stove and uh, eight fuel tablets. I love these uh, hexamine tablets, the square ones. I find the circle hexamine tabs, I need at least two or three, possibly even four, to make up one square hexamine tablet, which is kind of sad in my book, but you do get 24 of the circles in a pack. You only get eight of the squares in a pack. I'm sure once you do the math, it's probably about the same. But hexamine tablets have been hard to find right now. And when you do find them, you got to pay a $10 shipping. So if you're making a large purchase, purchase it makes it worth it. But if you just want to grab a few boxes, it's not really worth it. See how this dude's doing. Wow. Almost got a boil going. Uh, probably a few more minutes. That's my guess. Damn camera's messed up. <laughs> Imagine that. Rookie mistake. There, that's a little better. I will say though, nothing beats wood. Find wood everywhere. I'm 
Myself, I like hexamine tabs in my bug out bag just because they're easy. You don't get smoke from them. There's a little odor, but it's not bad. You're not giving away your position to anyone around you except the flame. But if you, you really can't get around that, even with alcohol stoves. Sure, alcohol stoves are good, but you gotta carry fuel for that. It's pretty windy right now, and that is doing pretty good right there, which is surprising. I don't know how alcohol stoves hold up to uh, hexamine tablet stoves. I've not really compared the two. I've thought about it. Maybe in a future video I will. I'll have to go get one from somewhere. More than likely Amazon. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I've made a video and just a lot going on right now. Especially with all this, uh, you know what I mean, what's going on right now, but I don't really want to say it. Just a lot of things you can't say right now, which is ridiculous. That we've gotten this far to where we let people control us by what we say. Alrighty, check this out. Oh, we're almost at a boil. Almost. I figured this would be a good video today. I might film a fire starter video tonight, me making a fire. I've got these, uh, cotton plugs that I make as well. I'm going to do a video explaining these and how I make them and burn time, how easy they are to start, how easy it is to get a fire going with them. Personally, uh, making your own fire starters is the best. Sure, you're supporting all the good companies out there like Pro Camp Tech, uh, ExoTac, but when it comes down to it, you can make your own fire starters cheaper than what you're paying over there. Way cheaper. Alrighty, let's see. Not quite. In this case, I might have to add another tab. I think the wind has a part to do with it. Oh, damn, I didn't catch it in time. Oh, well. The weather up here has been whack, real crazy. We've had 60s and 70s for going on a week now. We got a pretty good rainstorm last night and it dropped the uh, temperatures down in the 40s. That's a huge change in temperature for up here. It's definitely odd this time of the year, especially in Michigan. I think we may have a boil. Ah, uh, a little bit. 
maybe another minute or two. Should have a lot of videos coming out soon. I've been testing gear almost every day now. Every day that I could. Especially with these nice temperatures. I was having a fire almost every night. And then along with testing different fire starters, barrel rods, knives, stoves, backpacks, flashlights. You name it, I pretty much tested it. Go ahead and check this out. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a nice rolling boil right there. It's gonna, I got a canister of Swiss Miss and Folgers Instant Coffee Singles. I'll just be making a coffee hot chocolate real quick. And I'll probably get on to filming another video. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. I'll see you on the next one.